how do you get hired as an Android developer with no previous work experience? Let me tell you my story first. When I started doing Android, Android was just coming out. This was 2014 or 2013. It was not very prevalent. Uh, Android developers were much more in demand than now. Everything was new. Nobody knew how to do it. Those who did were uh, rare. It was like that. So people hired uh, Android developers quicker than today. But nevertheless, today it can be done as well. And I believe I did the same when I got hired. Because I was in a situation where I just came out of university, just like all of you. And I didn't have any work experience. And I wanted to work in something that I knew how to do, which is Android development. So what I did was double down on my senior project at university. I got the first prize because it's so good and everybody loved it. It was me and this other guy. We developed this project. I took the decision to take it all the way through and publish it to the store and make an actual app out of it and have users and all of that. And that's what got me what companies want. They want you to have experience working in a real environment. A real environment doesn't have to be inside a company. A real environment in the context of an application developer is just to have this app on the store. I don't know if you remember, but some years ago, it was very common for all the job applications to stay at least two apps on the store. They like to say this in job applications. Uh, they want to see you going through the motions of what an Android developer at a company would go through. And namely, maintaining an app beyond just the development phase. You have to maintain it when there's actual users. So you can emulate this. You can emulate this real experience yourself. So to do the following, you're going to need two things. The first is willpower. You're going to need willpower. The second is going to be confidence. And I'm going to tell you why. The first one is willpower because you're going to have to develop some application yourself, whether it's for your final project or for something that you develop at home. You're going to have to have an app under your name, under your belt, something that you've done and you're coming to this company and, hey, I've done this. You cannot come to a company and say, I I've, I've just came out of university, hire me. Hire you for what? You've done nothing. No one owes you anything. What sympathy are you expecting from these people when you have done nothing and you come and they say, hey, give me my reward for doing nothing. You've done nothing. Go home. You deserve it. For you to be hired and, let's say, rewarded with a job, let's say, or tasked with leading an actual application, you have to have some kind of record or something to show for it. Some app that you made and you maintained, which now makes you suitable to maintain our app, for example. So this you have to do at home. Or in my case, in your case as well, you have senior projects as well, right? To graduate, you have to do the, uh, you know, the finale project that's gonna culminate all your skills and you're gonna show it to your professors and they're gonna say, okay, you can graduate now. You have to double down on that area, right? If you're in university, you have to double down on that senior project. You have to make it real. You make it real, meaning it solves a real problem. No more social network for basketball players, uh, Instagram for my pets. You know the silly ideas. You know them. Don't do them. Make an application that solves a real problem, meaning... If I take your application right now and try to put a marketing team behind it, try to make a company out of it, it can stand a chance, maybe. Maybe it can get maybe 20 users per day. It solves an actual problem. It's not for the lack of problems in the world. There are tons of problems in the world. Look at your own life. What do you suffer from every day? Try to make an application for that. Try to automate something in your life. Make it sound like there's something there, there's something that is useful. Don't go for ideas that are just obviously made just for the sake of saying, I made an app. Nobody's going to buy that, right? Nobody's going to believe that. And you don't believe it either. So don't do it. That is why you need willpower. Willpower is going to 
be useful when you go into something like this. It's going to need 60 to 80 hours almost of your time. 60 to 80 hours. If you spend 80 hours on this, you're going to come up with something amazing. We're talking the full app will be developed and some of the design. I, I think you would get good headway with 80 hours. You would get something really presentable. 80 hours. That's the first thing you have to do. So you take that thing, the app you made, you push it to the store, you try to get behind it with actual intent. Really want it. Want to make this into something tangible. Want to make this into something that you can have users. Put it in your head that this app is going to prevent me from having to work for anybody. I'm going to make money out of this app. Take it seriously. For that, you need willpower, not confidence. Confidence comes after. So now you have your app on the store and now you turn to your CV because in the back of your head, we know, we both know, this app is not going to prevent you, you know, give you a free pass from having to work. You're probably not going to make money from it, but you give it your best. You give it 100% knowing that the fallback will be if I don't get this app to make me money, at least I can go to a job, right? You see where I'm going? And I can tell them, hey, look, I tried my best. I'm entrepreneurial. I did the best I could. This app didn't work. But now your apps, yeah, I've been through that. You know, I've been through maintaining an app. I've taken an app to the store. I've dealt with user reviews. I've dealt with crashes, DB migrations, bugs in production. I've done all of that in my app. Then you have to have the confidence to present this app as your shining star. You have to highlight it on the CV and say that this is my work experience. That's what I did. I didn't have work experience. I had the system administration app that I made. It was very presentable. It was featured in several magazines. I highlighted that stuff. I said to them, hey, this is the app I made. And that it was just, I di didn't need convincing even. They believed me because look, it's on the store. They believed that I did it. It has users. It's not just, I did this app in college. And where is the app? Where is it? You're going to link to what? You're going to link to screenshots. You need to put the whole effort behind and then come to these people and say, this was my work experience. You can, for example, mention that this was a project for a startup. It was what you intended. This is what you had in, the, in your head. We said that you're going to put all your effort here and you're going to give it 100% and see if it makes money. That could have been a startup if it worked. It didn't work. You didn't lie. You're not lying. And you mentioned that in the CV. I bet you they'll take you more seriously, if not even hire you on this basis. It's gonna work because I've tried it and there's nothing wrong with this theory. There are no holes in it. Even if you take six months out of university after university and then come back with a finished app and say these words, they will understand. That's why he took six months. The guy's entrepreneurial, willpower, you need the confidence to be able to present what I just said to you, to people who are probably much smarter than you, but you can do it. Why? Because of how you sound and because of the genuine effort that you put. 80 hours, after 80 hours of trying and doing something like this, your voice will be commanding when you're talking about it. You're not going to hesitate. You're not going to say, uh, yeah, it was in university. You hesitate and you talk with a low voice about what you did in university because you didn't believe in it. You need to put the first step, those 80 hours, those 60 hours, and then you're golden. Trust me. That's how you do it. Willpower, confidence, money.